Welcome to Parable Consumer Software's SIM Reader and SIM Management Software tutorial. This is just going to be a short tutorial showing you how to read the user reader and the SIM Management Software. So for the reader, you can see that we've got uh, SIM adapters included that will fit all the different sizes of SIM cards. Once you have that put into the SIM adapter, um, or if your SIM card is a full size, you can insert it into the side slot here. And you can see that you want to match the um, picture on the SIM adapter or the SIM reader so it slides in the same way. If it happens to get in between the um, adapter and the slot, it might slip in there all the way. You can just pop open the casing and retrieve it and then snap it back together. Once you have it inserted, inserted we're going to have you run the SIM management software that you install from the CD that's included. After you've installed the software and run it, plug in your SIM reader and you're going to see this screen here. The first thing we're going to do is read the phone book. This is going to retrieve all the data from the SIM card phone book. If this does not display any data when it's completed, it means that your SIM card does not have any data in it. Most smartphones today, like iPhones and Androids, do not store contacts or any other user data to the SIM card. They store it to the phone's internal memory. So again, if you do not see any data after this process, your SIM card simply does not have any data on it. So once you see the data here, in order to transfer it to another SIM card, we're going to first save it out. So we're going to name a file, save it to that file, and then we're going to close down. Actually, we're not going to close down the SIM card management software. We're going to uh, pull out the SIM card and put in the new SIM card that you're going to transfer the data to. Before you insert the new SIM card, we recommend that you close the software and open it up again. Then you can attach the SIM card reader with the new SIM card in there. You can see it's going to take a second to process. We're going to click on the phone book again. If there are messages, or I'm sorry, if there are contacts on there, it's going to show them, but we can still process and add new contacts with no problem. So you can see that this does not have any contacts. So we're going to open up our file. We're going to select each contact that we want. We can move one over at a time. Oh, but we have to select the field that it needs to go over into. We can move one over at a time or we can hold the shift button down, select multiple ones, hold the shift button down, and move more than one over. You can also move them over into different locations, and if you move them into the wrong place, you just hit delete. Once you've got them moved over, you click on the write data to the SIM card, and it's gonna write that data to the SIM card, and we're all set. You can also repeat this process for SMS or text messages with these buttons over here. Thank you for joining me today.